God's beautiful creation. And I want to just open up with a word of prayer. Father, thank you so much for this gift that you've given us, the gift of life, the gift of friendship, the gift of love. And as we come here today, we ask, Lord, that we would just celebrate all that you have so wonderfully provided for us. And let this relationship and us as witnesses confirm and establish that your love is eternal and everlasting. And let it flow through their lives, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God himself ordained the marriage service. It was God who gave Eve to Adam. It was God who saw the need of a man for the loving care of a suitable companion. It was God who arranged the covenant which we call the marriage relationship. When God created, he saw that it was not good for him to live alone, so he prepared for him a helpmate, a lovely lady. Therefore, in the creation of the first marriage, the woman God as a helpmate for man was not taken from his head to rule over him, nor from his feet to be trampled by him, but from his side and near his heart that she might own and command his mother. Do you, Randy, take Jamie to be your wife, to live with her in holy bond of marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, and honor her and keep her? You now give yourself to her completely, body, mind, and soul, that from this day forward you shall be hers alone, as long as you both shall live. And Jamie, do you take Randy to be your husband, to live with him in holy bond of marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him? And do you now give yourself to him, body, mind, and soul, that from this day forward you shall be his, and his alone, as long as you both shall live? This is a scripture that you picked, and it's a lovely one, from Romans 12, on this 12th day. I'm going to read to you just a few verses from this. Love from the center of who you are. Don't fake it. Run for dear life from evil. Hold on for dear life for what is good. Be good friends who love deeply, practice playing second fiddle. Since we have a violin here, that's kind of fitting, isn't it? Don't burn out. Keep yourself fueled and aflame. Be alert, serving the master, cheerfully expecting. Don't quit in hard times. Play all the harder. Be help in hospitality. Laugh with your happy friends when they are happy. Share tears with, them, with those that are down. Get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. Make friends with nobodies. And don't be some great body. Discover beauty in everyone, especially in each other. If you get into it, get along with everybody. Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging, says the Lord. I'll take care of that. All scripture tells us that if you see your enemy hungry, go buy him a personal lunch. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. Your generosity will surprise many. Don't let evil get the best of you, get the best of evil by doing good. James, would you please repeat after me? Oh, did I say James? I said Randy. I'm reading James. I got it right here. Randy. I don't know where that came from. Randy, my... Randy. I, Randy, take you, James. That's why. Two be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health. I accept you as a precious gift from God. I promise to encourage you in the Christian faith. Seek God's wisdom in being the husband that he wants me to be. And to let Christ love be the source of our love. Forever. And now you, Jamie will do that for you. I, Jamie, take you in to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. I accept you as a precious gift from God. I 
promise to encourage you in the Christian faith. And see God's wisdom being the wife that He wants me to be. And let Christ's love be our source of love forever. Many of you have a few words that you can share. that they want to do is for us to pray over a blessing over them. So, Jose, would you come? 
And if you could, just come in a little closer. Come on in. Let's extend our hands out in faith. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Randy, Father, and for Jamie. We thank you for this union that you have brought together today, Father. Father, I pray a blessing over them, a blessing of a, of, of a hedge of protection that you provide, Father. That you will guard the things from the outside that can't come in. And Father, that you will guard the things on the inside that can't come out. We pray, Father, that, that you would give them stewardship over this, this hedge, Father. That they would go out and tend to it and mend it and fix it and repair it. And Father, that they would not let any breach come into their marriage and into their union. Father, it's fitting here today in this place where they, where they were baptized. Where they identify with your death, burial, and resurrection, Father. And today, Father, and symbolically in pouring this sand into this container and showing that they're one. There's oneness. No longer, Father, they're they're single, but together there's oneness here, Father. As we are one in you, that they are one in you, Father. So, Father, I pray right now over them, Father, and I just pray that you would guard this marriage and keep them, Father, together. But most of all, Father, that they stay together in you. And as long as they do that, Father, as long as they're together in you, there will always be abundance in their home, Father, and be there'll be abundance of grace, abundance of joy, abundance of love in their home, Father, to be able to be a witness for you. So we thank you for him, Father, and we declare this so in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we receive this little gentle rain as a sign of blessing. <laughs> Lord, you said that you would pour out the former and the latter rain, and that we would be fruitful. Lord, I thank you for bringing these two lives together. We thank you that you have heal their past, that you are healing their moment and bringing them into this oneness, that they can move forward in delight and in favor and in blessing and in grace. May your love shine upon them and your grace be upon them and allow this love to flow from them to their family, to their children and to all that they come in contact with. It's an honor to release them into your blessed future. In Jesus' name, amen. You may kiss the bride. We were, I don't know if everyone saw us, but we were excited. So we snuck out of the limo and we were running around and I'm like, so near my knees and I'm running around the bathroom. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they didn't see us because we were right there.
wish you happiness and health forever. Jamie, my sweet baby daughter. <laughs> I'm so happy for you and Randy. I love you guys. You love Randy and Jamie. The funny buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie and Randy, I love you guys. You are my family. And good luck. And many, many long years. Again, are so thrilled for you and happy that you are married and one in Christ. And we just pray that you have love and abundance in your home forever. Jamie and Randy, I wish you guys the best. I wish you guys to have many, many years together as me and Jose. We love you and God bless you. I think from the very first day you two walked through the church, um, it just felt like you had been there a long time. And, and I think from what you said, it felt like Tree of Life was your church home. And we are so blessed to have you. Um, you may feel like Hey, the tree of life has blessed you, but the truth is, you have blessed us. The first time I met Jamie, she was in the blood mobile with me, and I think the next weekend, you guys were all at the food bank. I mean, it, it's just been unbelievable how supportive you've been, and we just are so proud of you, and we love you, and we just hope you have a hundred years together of being happy. We love you. I wish you a lot of happiness. I'm very happy that I can be a place in this community. God bless you. Okay, I'm Randy and Jamie, not James and Randy. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, you're welcome. Anyway, um, so excited for you guys, and I look forward to walking this walk with you. Love you. Bye. Hi, Jamie and Randy. It's Janet. <laughs> um, I'm so happy for you two. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful, blessed life. And remember that a, a three-strand cord is not easily broken. You, and each other, and the Lord together. Congratulations. Hi, Randy and Jamie. Uh, I'd like to thank you uh, for inviting me, and I thank you for um, the way the Lord's going to use you and bless you. Thank you. Randy and Jamie, I'm so thankful that 
through Alpha we got to meet you and know you and love you and we just wish you the most blessed marriage in the world and, and many, many, many years to go. Whatever you want, go ahead. No. Go for it. It's on. A moment of silence here for the for this moment. Do you have anything to say? No. <laughs> you have nothing to say, both of you? You want to say something? I'll think. I'll think. You want to say anything? I'm really hungry. <laughs> You're really hungry. Yes. You have anything to say? Thank you. Congrats. Congrats. His turn. Something. We're at 430. Come on, you big head and process this stuff. You'll laugh at this one day. Alright, I'm going to give you a chance. One, two, three. Congratulations. Thanks. Congrats. Congratulations. Uh, thanks for inviting us and allowing us to be here. And we hope you enjoy our gift. I think it might offer a little peace of mind for a night. And, um, I don't know. But, uh, I'm glad you don't have to come back to work till after New Year's. And I think I might follow suit. So God <laughs> I second the three of you. We just wish you the best. We're just glad you get part of this celebration. And you go and enjoy your honeymoon. And you don't worry about a thing. And you know what Matthew says about boring anyway. So we wish you the best. Have a great life. Love each other without question. Thank you for letting us be part of this. Thank you. Congratulations. Enjoy it. Because time is nothing but the lion. Yes. You did a beautiful job. Maybe you did a beautiful job. Amanda, you did one like the man. And I've never heard many wonderful things about this. So it's like it's really good. Like you took it. How am I supposed to follow all of that? Congratulations. Enjoy. Relax now. Celebrate privately without everybody around and take time for yourself. Congratulations and we love you. And say hi. Okay. Say hi, Papa. Thank you. Do you have anything to share? Nothing? Nothing at all? So do you guys have anything to say to each other here? Uh, it's been a great day. It's been a long road to this wonderful day. We're just happy to be together. And I look forward to a great future. I'm just complete now. Absolutely.
It's awesome to be able to be part of your day, your special day, 12, 12, 12. And I believe it's going to be one that is going to last for a long, long time on this earth. Blessings to you. And anytime I can help you or assist you, let me know. And remember, what you start in God, He will finish and complete. Love you.